Hello, welcome in a new video. My name is Rodbray. I'm a nail teacher and I'm a nail technician as well. I have been doing this for over six years and I created this channel to share a lot of stuff about nails. And today I brought you a, a true story, what happened to one of my clients. If you know me, you know that I'm specialized for bitten nails. So I treat a lot of nail biters and I'm sure you've seen the thumbnail. Uh, this lady looked up about five months ago and she booked a nail appointment and her story is a little bit special because uh, she really didn't buy the rest of her nails but this thumbnail and you can see on the photo I'm gonna share the screen and I'm gonna show you how it looked like before and I just tried to mark out with a black line uh, basically what was the real nail See, it was really, really small. And this lady thought that she has to live her whole life with that small, teeny, tiny, small thumbnail. But I told her it's not gonna be like that. And we started the treatment. And I'm gonna show you now how it looked like now. And I'm gonna try to squeeze a before and after photo as well. I really hope it's gonna work out if I uh, split the screen. And you're gonna see what what is the difference really what i really wanted to share that if you're a nail biter and you think it's like an extreme category like her thumbnail uh, probably you think that there is nothing what anybody could do for you but this video is a sign for you because there is help for you but you have to find the right uh, person for it so basically, if you go to your nail technician, probably they cannot really deal with it. So you need somebody who is really a professional and they know what they are doing. Because these kind of nails, what this lady had, I mean like this category, not just only her, like somebody who really has this kind of uh, bitten. It's not for every nail technician. Not every nail technician can do it. So you need a nail technician who really has the skill uh, to do this and they have the equipment and the knowledge as well so basically if you have this kind of bitten nails and you went to nail technicians before and they rejected you uh, the reason is they rejected you because they don't know how to do it if they didn't reject you and they done your nails and they always came off and you didn't make any kind of improvement it was because uh, their skill was not good enough to do it but there's an other very important thing what we really have to talk about it here that if you're a nail biter and you want to stop biting your nails you cannot blame it on the nail technician i know it's not nice to hear but i'm not going to sugarcoat the truth for you you have to put yourself into it as well i always tell it all my clients know it that i'm a good nail technician i'm a professional right i can do really really good nails for you but if you're not gonna put yourself into it and you really, really, really wanna bite it off, you will, because it's not iron, it's a nail. So basically, you can succeed like this lady if you have the willpower, okay? Another example, you always have different hands. This one is gel polish, this one is acrylic gel. And it's been three weeks that I put them on and I went to a place to help to a lady to lie down the floor because she moved into a new building and I helped her to paint the walls and this kind of stuff and I have all the tan, no chipping, no lifting, no crack, no breaks, nothing at all because I'm careful with them. So this is the same thing for you. You have to be careful. You have to look after your nails uh, to go through this process. And the other thing what I said that for this lady it took five months to grow it back because her nails were differently bitten than like another kind of nail biters, if you know what I mean. Everybody's healing time is different. So I'm not a fortune teller. I cannot tell you how long it's going to take for you. It depends on how fast your nail grow and it depends on a lot of other things. And I'm not going to share in this video because I could talk about it like seven days. But the thing is that one treatment is not enough. Two treatment is not enough. You have to go back constantly because this healing process is not going to be done in three or four days. Okay, so it's uh, basically <laughs> it's a human body. 
you cannot grow a nail in two days. Your nail grow every single day, but the growth is very, very small. So in three days, you wouldn't really see any kind of improvement. You can see improvement in three weeks, six weeks, nine weeks, but you're not going to see a result in one or two days. So if you're a nail biter and you really want to stop, there is a solution for you, even if you are extremely bite your nails uh you have to put yourself into it you have to make a commitment and you have to have the willpower if you have any question and if you live in northern ireland feel free to message me if you really want to stop this habit if if you live <laughs> in another country uh i'm sure you're gonna find somebody i mean a nail technician who can really really deal with those kind of bitter nails and i really hope i could answer a lot of questions if there is anything else what I haven't mentioned, feel free to comment. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.